So I've done a video before where I briefly mentioned Ren Eleanor on TikTok, but today I'm going to be going a bit deeper into this situation because last month she actually finally put out a statement about her daughter being posted on her TikTok even after these disturbing things were brought to her attention. And so today I'm going to be going a bit deeper into it. I'm going to be telling you guys everything and my opinion on it because this is so disturbing and I think that even after her statement there are still some issues that I feel like is important to discuss. So most of us that like to use TikTok, sometimes when we're scrolling through our feed, there will be a cute little kid doing something funny, making a joke or just being adorable and we see it, maybe we double tap, think that's super cute, move on with our day and that's that. I know that I have myself seen Rin Eleanor pop up on my feed and before I knew all of this stuff, I've probably liked some of her TikToks because when I saw them, I just thought, oh, a cute little girl on TikTok. I didn't know some of the things that were occurring that most of us don't know when we're just scrolling through our feeds and see children on there. So today we're going to be talking about Ren Eleanor. That is the three-year-old that has billions of views on TikTok and over 17 million followers for being an adorable little blonde hair, blue-eyed child that is just living her life as a three-year-old should. She's playing, she's laughing, she's eating, she's just being a little kid. And the difference between her and other three-year-olds is that what she's doing is blasted for millions of people to see every single day. This little girl doesn't have the ability to understand or conceptualize that millions of people know who she is and is looking at her and watching her every day. Not sure if her name is Jacqu Jacqueline or Jacqueline. I apologize for that. She began posting videos of her daughter on her TikTok. And the first time that I saw her, I was scrolling through my feed. And I remember getting recommended this, this video of her where she was showing you where a tampon goes. And it was a little weird. It wasn't something that I would be like, hey, let's post that. And then I learned that there are videos of her eating pickles and hot dogs, but they're in compilations of her eating other fair food. So to be honest with you, if I was scrolling through my feed guys I would not think anything of it but then people started exposing that some of the most searched things is her name eating pickles or her name eating hot dogs and then people started putting two and two together that maybe people were using this for a sick and twisted benefit which isn't anything that anybody in their right mind would think that somebody would do it's just like an innocent video people are taking those and they're using them for messed up ways. So once you know that, why would you keep posting it? And then I learned that there were videos of her dancing in crop tops and videos of her in the bathtub in bathing suits and things that you wouldn't think anything of being inappropriate until you hear the people that were exposing the fact that there were men leaving comments saying horrible things about her, inappropriate stuff I won't even mention. And then people started digging through the followers and finding that this little girl was being followed by a lot of accounts that were only following little kids. And then the ones that people think others were using for inappropriate things had the most saves. You have a TikTok with 2,500 saves. Now this is Ren doing normal, usual kid things of where she's playing with an animal thing. And uh, yeah, nobody seemed to really care too much about this one. But it gets a little bit suspicious when you go and see another TikTok of where Ren is weirdly playing with adult items such as tampons and razors. And that TikTok has 386,000 saves. And then you find a TikTok of Ren eating food with 369 thousand saves and then you start finding comments like this and also comments like this and even random grown men duetting the tiktoks of the little three-year-old girl calling them pretty then you also find out that there are loads of fan accounts of this three-year-old girl and yeah this comment comes from one of those accounts of where somebody was saying that they were putting the photos of this girl on his bedroom wall i also saw this tiktok where somebody was talking about how that it's now removed but it used to say her name in suggestive outfits and i don't know how many people would need to search that up for that to be something that popped up but I feel like it would need to be a lot. I talked about my previous video how there were accounts that were being exposed for sharing their passwords with other accounts and they were private. They had photos and inappropriate things on them. They were swapping back and forth with people by sharing their passwords. So there are people on TikTok that are using it for disgusting things. Now TikTok apparently disabled comments on 
on Ren's post, so you can't see anybody saying anything bad anymore, but that doesn't make the people that were commenting that go away. And then I guess her mom deleted some of these TikToks, which I think was the right move. I definitely think she should have deleted those TikToks and never posted anything else like that again, so I'm glad she at least did that. So I can't personally understand the mindset of continuing to post your child on social media when you have been told that there are people using your kids' pictures and videos for inappropriate things. But I know why these moms do it, and it is because of the money. It's because of the fact that they get to live their lifestyle for the money that they're getting. I think that maybe she's perhaps justifying continuing to post her daughter because maybe she's seeing the lifestyle that they're able to live because of it. She's able to give her daughter probably the best of the best because of the money that she makes from posting these TikToks. But some might call it child labor, just like they call child acting child labor because your child is working for money that you are getting to live your lifestyle off of, but they're not even aware that that's happening or what their face is being used for. And one day they will be aware of it. Maybe she's thinking, if I stop doing this, like what will happen to our lives? And I understand that she's a mom, I get that. But this is a very serious situation. Whenever your mind isn't broadened or opened up to what's occurring on the internet, you don't think anything of it because most of us don't have minds like that. But then when it's brought to your attention, you have to look at it for what it is. Kids are being exploited for views and money all over social media and we tend to forget how new of a thing this is. I mean, when I started using the internet, I was 11 years old and it was like Yahoo Messenger, it was MySpace, it was different. Our social media was our private pages where we had to accept friends and we paid attention to who was on there. Social media was different. We forget how new TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, we forget how new all of this is. We don't know the effects that these are gonna have on these children and their adult lives. We don't know how technology could use these children's images. We don't know what the internet is capable of. The thing that I found the most disturbing now that I'm a mom of a three month old is that when there were other moms on TikTok trying to bring awareness to this to show people who were posting their kids on here, hey, look, this is happening. They were the ones that were kind of not necessarily attacked, but some of them were blocked or they were viewed at like they were the ones that were doing something wrong because they were talking about it or trying to expose it, that they were the ones that had the messed up minds. To be honest with you, Ren Eleanor's mother isn't really an exception to this. Jacqueline, I think that's her name. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt like I will a lot of parents. I think that when these moms started originally posting their kids on social media, it was because when you love your child, you think they are the cutest thing in the entire world. Everything they do is cute everything they do is funny and of course you want to show people and be like look how cute my kid is. I think it all started out as an innocent thing where they wanted to share their children for other people to be like oh they're so cute. I made the decision to keep my son off the internet but there are times when I'll take a video of him or a picture and I think he's so freaking cute I want to show him off but I pull back from that because I don't think that it is appropriate and this is why I choose to do it that way. Shouldn't it always be about protecting your child and doing what is in their best interest over what you want to do. I personally know there is a lot of darkness on the internet and I'm not gonna expose my son to that. And there are some people that choose to ignore it and I understand why, because you should be able to post what you want on your social media. You should be able to live your life and not think about this crap that exists. We shouldn't have to think about it or worry about it. It shouldn't exist, period. But thing is, is that it does. And no amount of ignoring it makes it go away. You post your children online, even if you're not showing their face, I need you to stop and listen. I have just stumbled down a, a rabbit hole that I wish I never had. Ignorance is bliss. It really is. But as a parent, when you know better, you need to do better. I'm sure we have all seen the videos circling around about like Ren Eleanor and all of that just mess. But then I started doing my own digging. I just fell down the Pinterest rabbit hole and I found a man named Kurt who commented on a picture of Ren from Ren Eleanor saying cute. So I clicked on his profile and then I clicked on his saved where it shows all of the pictures that he has saved. Um, and it's just little kids just doing little kid things. 
You guys, I get it. I have seen the arguments of, well, I should be allowed to post what I want of my child or let my child dress how they want to because it's not our fault. We shouldn't be sexualizing them. It's the creep's fault, and I agree. But the fact of the matter is they are out there and they are not leaving anytime soon. And it is your job as the parent to protect your child. They can make their own decisions when they're older, but while they're young and innocent, it is your job to protect them from that. Mom Uncharted put it perfectly when she said, if you knew there were creeps at a water park and you knew that they were there and watching, but you didn't know who they were, would you still bring your child to that water park? And the answer better be no. Guys, most of these pictures that I just found are innocent. I think that we forget sometimes that these creeps are not looking for children who look more mature. They want them just how they are. But I'm sure when these parents started posting their kids, on the internet. They didn't think anything of it, but now that they know, why are they still doing it? People that are exploiting their kids and P words that are taking these videos and photos and using for their sick and twisted benefit, that's not gonna go away, but let's make the people go away that are talking about it. They can ignore it and ignore the people that are bringing it to attention all day long, but that does not make the problem go away. I understand that everybody needs to make an income, but make an income with your own face. <laughs> At some point, you have to ask yourself the question, is this putting my child in harm's way? When these kids start going to school and they're being able to be recognized by the public, is it putting their life in danger? Like there's certain questions that I feel like we should be asking. Also, when these kids grow up and they have the ability to understand that they were put on the internet for millions of people to see, what are they gonna think and how are they gonna feel about it? I'm gonna speak for myself and I know everybody is different, but you know, some of these kids will grow up feeling the way that I do too and you don't know if your child is going to or if they're not. You need to be considering these things. But if TikTok existed when I was a child and when I got older, I learned my mom was posting me when I was a little kid and was aware that these videos were being used for some of the things that Wrens are and other kids all over the internet, I would have some serious questions I would be asking my mom like, why did you keep putting me on the internet if you knew this? I'm very fortunate that I was born in the 90s when pictures were taken with like disposable cameras and things like that. So all my pictures as a child are in photo albums and a chest in my mom's house, not all over the internet for the entire world to see. Like now we have the understanding of what these pictures and videos could be being used for. So why would we just ignore that? Like being a parent is not easy. I've learned that and I've only been a parent for three months. I can't imagine, you know, how it progresses. People always say until they're 18, but I'm gonna be a parent for the rest of my life. I know there's gonna be lots of ups and downs and struggles and things that are really difficult and things that are wonderful and amazing and it's a lot of emotions. But one thing I've learned in three months is that you have to make really hard decisions sometimes. You are faced with things that you wish you weren't faced with sometimes. It's not always sunflowers and roses and rainbows and unicorns. It's not always wonderful. Sometimes there are things that are freaking hard and you have to make really serious decisions. And one of those decisions is, do I post my child on the internet for a quick buck? And do I post them on the internet for a quick feeling of validation that yeah, my child is a gorgeous, wonderful, amazing human being that I already know that they are. We're not posting our kids on private Facebook and MySpace accounts anymore. We're posting them publicly where anybody and everybody can see them. I've been on YouTube since 2015 and there has been some bad that has come from putting myself on the internet, putting myself out there, but that's on me. That's with my face and me, my name, myself, me, myself, and I. Not at somebody else's expense. I can't imagine exposing my son to what I deal with on a daily basis, to the comments that I get on a daily basis, exposing his innocent self to that without his consent. Ren's mother put out a statement about this and I'm gonna read it because I got some comments I wanna say before I wrap up this video. The past few months have been incredibly distressing and I've learned a lot. What started out as a hobby to make a digital scrapbook for my daughter, Ren, grew into an interesting role for me as a single stay-at-home mom. Ren is my number one priority and her upbringing and safety are my top job 24 hours a day. As a busy mom who never set out to become a TikToker with 17 million followers, I now realize I should have spent more time reading the comments, which is not so easy with a big audience. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure people were posting videos about what was in her comments and she was blocking those people, allegedly blocking those people. With her saying I should have been reading the comments, I'm like, but what about the videos that people were making that you were allegedly seeing that were telling you what was in the comments? 
What about that? I'm not sure how this conspiracy theory got started and spiraled out of control. What you need to know is that no law enforcement agencies I conferred with, including the FBI, have found any proof that my daughter's likeness appears on inappropriate websites. These rumors are 100% false. What is true, Ren is a happy, healthy three-year-old. The videos we film together from my account a couple of hours a week are fun and lighthearted. I'm always with her, sometimes on screen, on or off, holding the camera as she laughs and giggles, opening boxes, trying new foods, or playing outside. Online safety precautions I've taken include turning off the ability to download or duet our videos. Now I think that that is really good. I'm glad that she has started taking precautions with posting her stuff on social media. People can still screen grab. People can still record with other devices. People can still watch what's there, type in her name, go back to her account. It doesn't protect her fully. It just doesn't. TikTok analytics show that my followers are 76.8% female. That's more than 13 million females, including lots of moms. And I thank you for watching and for your interest in my family. That leaves over 4 million of them as men, not to mention what men have their profiles set to female. Some of these accounts didn't have men in their profile pictures. They could have it set to anything. Almost 5 million men, that is a lot of men to be following a three-year-old little girl. We're talking about millions. I have more percentage of women that watch my content than she does, and that is a three-year-old little girl. So hard to digest, and I don't know how you could hear that there are over four million men that you know of following your daughter and be like, cool, I'm gonna keep posting it because there's some women too. In addition to preserving precious memories, this account has allowed me to raise and provide for my daughter as a stay-at-home mom, along with being able to set aside money for Ren for her future. What also motivates me to keep posting our family and videos are the positive comments from the community that say Ren's personality brings joy to their day and reminds them of their kids who are all grown up. I do understand that there are individuals out there with twisted minds and online predators that prey on children. Never did I think that a child eating her first corn dog at a county fair would be interpreted the behavior that it was interpreted as. As false rumors bubbled up in May, a concerned family member reached out to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. In June, I contacted the FBI to discuss these false claims. The FBI then informed me that no images of my daughter have been found on any inappropriate sites. What baffles me is these rumor spreaders are online expressing such concern for my daughter, yet not one person has presented real tangible proof that these allegations are true. Creating videos talking about scurrilous rumors that my three-year-old daughter appears on key sites isn't proof. Repeating false information over and over will never convert into fact and it's wrongfully smearing my daughter's name and unjustly damaging my reputation. This ugly situation is a good reminder that you should not believe everything you read on the internet. Well-intentioned people took time to read chat boards and watch TikTok videos fueled by false rumors and unfortunately assumed that it was factual. Conversely, recent reporting conducted by legitimate news organizations clearly and accurately stated in their articles no evidence of wrongdoing has been found. If these false rumors have prompted parents to rethink how they let their kids be involved in social media, that is a good thing. Honor and act upon your personal decisions, but please do not mom shame me because we have different parenting styles. My daughter will continue to wear stylish clothes from the mall, wash her hair with shampoo that smells like strawberries, play with her toys, try out no foods, and enjoy special treats at our annual county fair. How blessed am I, a grateful mom that doesn't face off with a picky eater at every meal. They found unwarranted fault in every scene, unfairly characterized activities such as eating fizzy candy, fruits, and vegetables, wearing a swimsuit, and playing with water balloons as suggested behavior. Perhaps it's the pickle, popsicle, and corn dog obsessed lewd minds recirculating false accusations that are the problem. I look forward to making more fun videos with my daughter and I am committed to making changes when I turn my account comments back on. I will filter them to remove offensive comments and report and block accounts as necessary. So again, my response to that is that you can remove comments as much as you want. It doesn't change who's watching it. And I don't know anything about her kids' things being posted on inappropriate websites, but they don't have to be because there is evidence that shows that people are using them for inappropriate ways on TikTok. Talk. Why would they need to upload it on an inappropriate website? I think that it is unfair to try and switch the narrative to the people who are bringing awareness to it for also other moms are the ones that are doing something wrong or they're the ones that have the messed up minds because I can assure you that when I first saw her daughter's TikToks, I never thought anything about it. And I'm posting this video about it after seeing her say that perhaps people who think there's something wrong with it are the, you know, wrong ones. I don't think there's something wrong with a child eating food and playing and living their life the way that she is. What I think is wrong is that there are people that are taking those videos and using them for inappropriate ways. And I think that it is strange when a mom knows that and continues to post them. 
maybe that's just me. What I would do in the situation is I would cut my losses. I would be like, I have made a great income off of this. I have a wonderful savings for my daughter. Maybe it's time for me to stop posting her and let her grow up without being recognized. That way when she's five, six, seven, ten years old, maybe people won't remember that face. But the more you continue to post her as she grows up, people are gonna know what she looks like at every stage of her life. And as I've said, like, does that affect her safety? And this isn't just about Ren. This is about a lot of people on social media that are posting their kids. And the Ren Eleanor situation has caused a lot of moms to stop posting their kids. But it does bring up really important questions that I think that we should be asking. And that's, is this dangerous for our kids? And how will this affect them in their future? And what are they gonna say or think about this when they're older? People tend to look at babies and children as just babies and children, but they forget that they're human beings and they're gonna grow up. And what are they gonna think about the fact that you're putting them all over the internet? You guys are gonna have to let me know your thoughts down below about the situation. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. If you guys would like me to do more videos on topics like this, because there are a lot of other people that I could talk about as well, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know. And I'll be seeing you guys soon for another video.